my uh, audio got jacked up. I don't even know how. I think it was uh, when, when my stream crashed and it came back. The audio, I'm guessing, it uh, started to, to repeat. And I didn't realize it until like an hour or two later. And I was like, I was really upset because it was a nice little stream last night and like my audio was just glitched out um, and it was repeating itself. And, well, it was, rep it was only repeating twice, like my original, the original sound and then it repeated, but I would say in the game and uh, I don't think I've ever experienced that before. I I'm guessing it was because uh, the stream crashed, but I have no idea why. Hopefully it doesn't happen today. I'm gonna have to monitor my stream or my sound more. Um, uh, more often. And uh, I don't think I did too much after the stream last night at all. Um, I probably just I just did got a new spell. Uh, defendo? Not not defendo. What is it? It's the pulso. I just got that right now after doing the tasks for it. So now I'm gonna go to falling class finally being the broom. Hopefully uh beasts are next. Oh on another adventure, are we? Now, I was getting the keys last night. That's what I was doing uh, after I streamed. I was getting keys, and uh, I'm missing three, but they're, those, the rest of them are in, a, in an area I'm not able to access yet. Because I don't have... Um, Alohomora. Uh, looks like I got some new clothes on. I, I think I put these on at post stream. Oh. You think Gareth Weasley will be better at that? Really? His wand just went through his face. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to fly through these hoops with the broom. And I can, um, I have the ability to pass time now, which I didn't realize if, if it was if it was here or not for a while. I have no idea, but you can pass time now. And I got the talent. I unlocked that last night during the stream. Uh, at the end, the very end of the stream, I finally got to use uh, to unlock some talents, which increases well makes gameplay better, makes spells better. Man, my my sinuses are acting. Everybody, grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone. Please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. 
Now, your turn. turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Hope the controls aren't inverted. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. <laughs> I want them this returned in one piece. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. Cool. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! This is really <laughs> cool. Hello! Nice day for a flight! I see going faster than me. That wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Oh, uh, you can dash or oh. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> ah! I was trying to see. I was trying to see if the, that monster was still there. Ha! Oh, well done. Have a moment. We're gonna race. Hey, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Hammer angle. Follow me. With me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Oh, maybe I can only get to... Nice to get above it all, isn't it? The serious well, that's not as serious. Uh ahead of the gardens. The I remember his first name. But the headmaster. Bit claustrophobic for my uh, taste. Mm. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. I am doing that. Or L2. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous oh, bridge. I see the bar. Think of there. all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Wait. Excuse me. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. How on earth is he so fast? 
Vikings are ready to dip far. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. But that was pretty fun. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. Uh. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. What would be really cool is the Quidditch game. Sorry about that business like, with Kagawa. They had one but back in the admit, day. You have to admit, those views were worth it. I don't know about PS2, but I never played it. But I was like, man, I, I would like to play that. I never had a GameCube. Uh, well, I did have a GameCube, but I didn't remember about that game. Pretty sure it came out on GameCube. Uh, it was worth losing a few I never really saw too much gameplay detour. of it. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I'm gonna do that right now. I have a lot of money. Revelio. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. Although she is very strict when it comes to broom safety. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spint Witches, I'd be on it now! I wish I could have for my own. corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Spintwitches is open in Hogsmeade. All the latest brooms I hear. Not that I need one. The broom I have at home is the latest model. I wish I received letters from her. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Gryffindor should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. I wonder if... Okay, I've been just doing as much as I can, but I've been losing points with the teachers. Hufflepuff is uh, in the lead right now. And ours isn't that bad. Our house points, we have a little bit, but they have a, like a mountain full of, of uh, gems. But I wonder if if this like if me agreeing or disagreeing to do stuff that can get me in trouble is um is affecting that. I think they said it doesn't, but I don't know. Revelio. I like how after main story quest, there's always like one or two side missions that pop up. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, what the camera? What is going on? Where is the... The broom shop? I thought it was right in front of it. Is this it? 
Yes. Ah, new Revelio. I wasn't able to come in here before. Print which is sporting needs. I'll be weeks. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. One numbers, 2000 and, or 1890s or you whatever. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Nice doing business with you. You weaver broom, comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. That item is of the highest quality. Perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. Hogwarts house broom. Eh. That item is of the highest broom quality. Broom broom. Crafty fine. Finally crafted from ash. This broom is built for stability. Stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. That item is of the highest quality. That's what the teacher had. The U broom. U wood broom. This one looks interesting. I don't know why it has a lantern on it. That item is of the highest quality. This is just a standard quality. broom. This one looks the best. Which one? Do they all cost the same? Do they all cost? I think you can probably buy them all and then just swap the. What's the name? The look that of them. That item is of the highest quality. Maybe. I don't know. Either this one or this one. This one looks like you're gonna when you fly. It's gonna be. It's gonna leave like red streaks. That item is of the highest quality. I don't like the, the the front part of this. That item is of the highest quality. This one looks cool, but uh. that item is of the highest quality. I just like how neat the the back part of the broom is. This is this is very basic. But this has a lot of that item is of the I'll, highest I'll quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I'll probably just I buy all of them, honestly. I thought they would have cost more. Looks like I bought the wrong one. Or whatever, I'll just buy them all. <laughs> You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! 
I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Looks like the... I forgot what the ball is called. Not a bludger. <sighs> Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. But the the quaffle? I don't remember what it's called, but uh, it looks like it's made out of leather, like like an old football. Well, it looks like it's made of older material, like older older leather material, because the, the ones in the movies are like brown and not stitched. But I also don't know what it's made out of. I don't know if it's leather, like a like a regular ball, or if it looked like it was like wood, but I don't know. Tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. That's an object. What else I got to do here? Nothing. Oh, yeah. This I don't know what these do. I don't know if it's just um, if it automatically like applies or what. I have no idea. Cause there's nowhere to equip these like little perks. Oh wait. Oh, I, I thought they were going to show me the motto. Where have I seen this? A fooper. Have I seen one of these? I wish I could see it because I've seen like a, a gray silver niffler. 
I'm gonna have to go back to that that den. I'm gonna fly there actually. There's 13 different rooms. So probably I'll use these at night. I use this during the day, probably. What is that? Akio. Repulsa. Revelio. Yeah, the quality of life uh, upgrades that you can get through the talents are pretty nice. Like the the Revelio, it goes way farther than like the radius it was at before. <laughs> well, do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the Keen trip Bridge. to Keenbridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. He sounds annoying. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am. I'm gonna Truly. have a lot of fun. Going Here are through the invisibility potions she requested. And Hopefully she won't ones. give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Rebellion. Why is there a thing? Do I have to make the invisibility potions or did he give them to me? I don't know. I'm guessing I can't fly it, fly the broom. Here, I just saw a shadow of someone flying the broom, so. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, L1 and then Circle. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna fly there. I'm not gonna fast travel or anything. See what I ran into on the way. Doing um, these uh, Merlin trials. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Give you uh, more inventory space. Revelio. What's going on? I'm hearing a bunch of stuff right now. What do I have to do? What? I missed that, but I still got it. I have to do four more, I think, to get another inventory increase. Maybe. There was a Oh wait. No. 
Oh. I don't know if I can. Uh, apparently, we, you get to do Petrificus Totalis on people when you're invisible. I had no idea you could even do that. The game didn't tell me I could do that. But I don't know if I could do it on this. Okay. <laughs> Get out of the water. Oh my gosh, really? I'm swimming. Oh my. These things are. Incendium. Get out of the water, are you kidding me? Alright, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna get, are you gonna chase me? Whatever. Stuck. Expelliarmus. things what is this summon two enemies we mean summon two enemies to this little spot, but I'm gonna go back to that cave. Oops. Yeah. Levy also. Akio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Really? Revelio. The chests are randomized, but like I did all that just to get the item I'm not gonna use. It seems like there's more to this there's more supposed to be to this like little dungeon type of cave thing, but I guess not. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do with these, but yeah. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Thank <laughs> you. 
Revelio. Okay. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. What do I have to do? Revelio. Oh no. Revelio. This doesn't have anything to do with it. I don't know about this one. I don't know, these things are near it. Don't know why. Levioso. We have to kill the bugs? Incendio. Revelio. Lumos. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Are you kidding me? Okay, us. I was overthinking it, I guess. Or not thinking of the right thing to do. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Had that ability. Is there a cooldown for that? No, there isn't. That's really cool. You turn into a Sonic Ball. What the? I just noticed that. I never. I haven't done this yet in the game or in a fight. It's pretty cool. I think this is a new town I'm going to. Where is it? It's south of Hogwarts. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Okay, it is a new town I'm going to. Nice. Now I'm, I'm able to explore wherever I want. I'm going to go here to the left, actually. Another cave. That I can't get into. I didn't realize what these were. I think I was on stream the yesterday, uh, trying to shoot these down. Oh, nice. Pop balloons. Challenge. Where's the town that was over here? This looks like, this looks like it's blocked off. Oh, I can't enter while mounted. Okay, well, they thought of that. <laughs> this might just be unavailable for now, or it's just an area you can't 
get to at all. It's not part of the the regular map. But I'm closing. I'm nearing that village. I thought it was up that way, but it's over here. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough as a place. Revelio. Aaronshire. Didn't Clementine Willardsley ask you to follow those butterflies into the Forbidden Forest for her? Not the bravest person, How did Clementine. He know? Uh. Ooh, a legendary uh, item that I can figure out what it is. Huh. Rebellion. Oh, there's a quest here. Oh, Milo, what am I to do? So, okay, so quests are available. Like, I could have probably gotten this a long time ago if I came here. I'll walk Is there here. something I can help you with, Mr. Adley? Edgar Adley? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I known he wanted to procure venom from a living Acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. I think he did <laughs> deserve it. Wow. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, uh, Milo's name for the Acromantula. A lot of people did are dying all over the dramatic. place. In fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch uh, so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... Uh, I fled. Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is, as Paul Milo has proven, impossible to get from a live acromantula. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. Oh, don't. Automatically. Now, where could that Acromantula that cave right be? I could. Rebellion. Another Merlin trial. Might as well do it while I'm here. Ugh. What do you have in store for me this time? I need more of those uh, leaves. Um. Uh, Revelio. the things I have to put in the holes Incendium. Lumos Levioso Revelio I think I've seen like the, this type of puzzle before, but I don't know where the things are. The little balls. Is that one right there? Oh, here they are. 
Levioso. Oh. Oops. Oh my gosh, wrong button. Akio. Levioso. Akio. Are they all gonna? Oh my gosh. I have just done it from up there. I wonder. Okay. I'm guessing they're all near them, but they're not lit up. Revelio. Oh, there's another one over there. I don't see the balls. That's another one right there. Oh my gosh! Not in the same place. It's nighttime. That scared me. I thought that was a dragon over there. Rebellion. This little area reminds me of Red Dead uh, 2. It wouldn't be all the way down here. Uh. Those are little bushes I can get, not the balls. What am I missing? Lighting ain't really helping either. Revelio. Here, these. There's some right here, but. Levioso. And levitate. Where's these? Where are these? Revelio. I figured they were like they would be like here somewhere, but Unless I brought those balls and those are meant for the other ones.
Oh my. Some of these are like very convoluted. Incendio Lumos Revelio. What? I didn't even realize. I thought they were going to leave me, but I guess those are the ones that I already had touched. So I didn't even have to follow them, I guess. Could it be? I don't have the. Oh, never mind. Lumos. Revelio. Where are the other ones? You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. I prefer the latter. <laughs> Your poaching days are over. Revelio. I can't even... Oh, I thought there was one in the cage, but I can't even open the cages to get the animals out. Cause they're locked and I'm, uh, I don't have the like this one right here oh what is that is that a dog or a wolf can't tell I don't have I, I don't even have unlocked all over more yet Lumos. Revelio. No. Oops. Where's the other one at? What is that? Revelio. Oh my gosh, that owl is loud. No. Reparo. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Oh, Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Do I get an upgrade? I mean, a uh, inventory upgrade now, or is that one more?
Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Oh, that ball up there. There was the upgrade I got yesterday, uh, and I, I had it, but I didn't realize I can claim it. So it was just sitting there. Is it that far away? I thought it was closer than that. But it's all the way up here. I'll go do this one, I guess, first. Going to... These along the way. Oops. I want to do that. Level 30? Oh, actually, maybe not. I'll wait to do that one actually. Acquire and use an invisibility potion. Acquire and use Thunder Brew against enemies. So I'll use Thunder Brew against enemies and then invisible I'll use the invisibility potion also. I keep using it, forgetting to use the L1 uh items. Oh, that's cool. Shows you everything it looks like. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It shows you side quests and stuff. That's cool. For that, though. I think it was the area with that Niffler cave was it was along the water. It was around here somewhere. Oh, it shows you this one too. Rebellion. <coughs> Can you help me? 
Hello? There's a voice There's coming water from in that there, well. Though. Is someone down there? Down there? I oh, beg your pardon. I'm here. <coughs> There's no one here but me. <coughs> Some thoughtless wretch casually tossed a bit of parchment into me and <coughs> he caught. If you could please take it. <coughs> Seems to be some sort of map. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What a relief. I hope the map serves you well. Oh, at least better than it did me. Hmm. Revelio. Spells are These little camps have um an aversion to the dark arts. Merely highlights and image. How on earth didn't they see me? That's the executioner though. I have to do When we're done here, I'm going straight to the hog's head. Or perhaps I'll just go now. What? Oh no. 
gave me. Ah. Oh, perhaps it's dinner I'm hearing. Uh, it's something afoot. Oh. What? Levitate Ashwiner's soldier. Expulsion. Is there more of them? No. Fighters. Uh. Revelio. What is that? Use the well's treasure map to find the treasure. I'm gonna have so many quests. I already have a lot. This game is even more 
like spectacular playing it than seeing it before it came out like I can't even explain it who is that wolves I know what that means Merlin trial Revelio. I was going to I was going to the I quest little area there's a couple of them right here Was this Lord of the Rings? What needs doing <laughs> needs doing. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about, about, I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. Uh, I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. <sighs> he just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. It certainly takes a lot of courage to try, I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I wish others felt the same. But I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. That probably is too high of a level, maybe, for me to do right now. I uh, a little bit. I'm just getting the quest. I'm not gonna do them right now. One never knows when. Troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. Hello. Might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? Eddie. Goblin rebellions attacks on Feldcroft are becoming more frequent. They seem to be searching for something. At least I failed to find another reason why they would target our little hamlet. Regardless, trade is suffering and the people are struggling. Feldcroft could certainly benefit from your creativity and optimism right now. You always seem to have the cleverest ideas. Any suggestions, my friend? I'm not sure how long, how much longer Felcroft can survive. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help but they've gone missing. I thought you said chumping. Good idea. Those cabbages are nothing to be trifled with. My thoughts precisely. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. 
Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something. But lately, they've become more aggressive. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages, and they are extraordinary. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced Nothing. that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. I'll be able to... Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellio. I can't get in the house yet. Where is the little... Oh, probably a scarecrow. Oh, get off of the. Revelio. And a scarecrow. Could do this. Invisibility potion, thunderbrew potion against enemies. Oh my gosh, they're all so far away. Like, <laughs> I might as well just. Like. Which way is it? This way? Where's the quest? Oh, it's this way. I'm going to Keenbridge anyway, so I might as well do that quest first. Conjuring spell, Evanesco Conjuring Spellcraft. That's next. Unfringo. And I get to learn Defendo too. I mean, uh, Defendo? I'm pretty sure. I just gotta fight an enemy. Use the invisibility potion. Rebellion.
twice. Let me see how this looks without. Not that one. Looking like a pirate. What I have on? I don't even remember what I had on. Oh. I think I'm gonna end the stream a little early today. I don't think I'm gonna stream the Nintendo Direct after all. I kind of want to enjoy watching other people stream it. Oh, I forgot about these outposts. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank everybody for joining. I do appreciate it. You guys have a good one.